This gathering is open to only a select few. You must be young, tough, and most of all, one of the gang. This is a Friday night ritual for the Teja Street Locos, a gang of Hispanic boys who grew up fast and hard. Guys like Sapo, Richie Boy, Sleepy, Gato, and Spooky. Loco means crazy, and on this occasion, the word fits. The booze and drugs quickly numb the young minds, making the Locos restless and bold. Bad news has just arrived. One of the Locos was beaten at a Grand Prairie dance. The gang wants revenge. These exclusive pictures show the group arming themselves. Richie Boy brings out bone-breaking bats and sticks. But this is the most shocking and frightening scene. Youngsters brandishing deadly weapons, usually associated with adult criminals. The night is hot and humid. The locos are drunk, doped up, and dangerous. and to leave me and you in tears. Lupe Carrizales' friends say goodbye to him for the last time. He was shot in the chest at a Grand Prairie party. Just because there was maybe a bad word said or a disagreement or an ugly face made, there's no sense in it. It has to be stopped. Three of the locos are accused of murder. Richie Boy gets away from the police, but Sleepy and Sapo are put into the juvenile detention center. If somebody came to you and said, hey, I need you to kill somebody, would you do If it? he wasn't my homeboy, Ned. What if he was a homeboy? Yeah, yeah. They I kill somebody him. for a homeboy? Sit there. Yeah. The homeboys. Who are they and yeah, why do they bring homeboy. fear and terror into the neighborhoods? It's all part of the West Side Story. For most people in Dallas, including the police department, gangs live and die on the screen. The sharks and tigers are only people you find in older, slum-filled cities like New York or Chicago. There are gangs in Dallas County. There are groups of children who engage in violent behavior, in criminal misbehavior. The juvenile department has identified nearly 30 gangs in the Dallas area. The older ones are in the West Dallas neighborhoods. But the real growth of gang activity is taking place in Oak Cliff with a recent influx of Hispanic families. They're, they're group-oriented people to begin with. You know, family traditions, uh, in this case specifically Mexican-Americans in our community, have, have a greater disposition to be in groups. In the past, they were called pachucos, patos locos, cholos, Chucos, and now homeboys. Hey, there's a difference between a friend and a homeboy. He could be my friend, but we just say hi once in a while. Whenever we see it. But homeboys, they never let you down. They always back you up, no matter what. The homeboys mark their territories, and protecting their honor, girls, and turf is a way of life. A lot of those kids used to get put down for the language. They used to get put down for a number of things. And when you get together in a gang, that boosts your self-concept. You know, it's a sense of, sense of power. That sense of power often brings youngsters to juvenile court. In the past few months, the juvenile office has linked gang members to at least 30 violent crimes, from assaults to murder. Gangs are responsible for hundreds of thousands of dollars in property crime ranging from vandalism to robbery. We have recently gained more information 
on gangs uh, in areas other than Hispanic areas, the black areas, the Anglo areas. Valente and Rick Austin have been working on the problem. One of their projects is to set up a community center designed specifically for gangs. But money is a big obstacle. No such thing anymore as, as that type of grant or that type of funding. Uh, that's why we're, we're trying to reach out to the community and work with the community to develop some funding sources. The probation department is appealing to the community for donations. They can be sent to the special services unit at the juvenile probation department. Victor Solis, Channel 5 Action News, Dallas. A major change in the evolution of gangs involves a fair sex. Gangs are no longer restricted to just males. An alarming number of female gangs are popping up. Okay, there's us Latin queens, las chingonas, las homegirls, las carnalas, la familia. The girls are just as tough as the guys. You got a knife in your pocket? Can you show it? <laughs> I guess. Yeah. You fight and they don't fight fair. You get, you know, they could pull out something on you and then I have to pull out my knife and never know I could stab somebody or kill somebody. If I told you that there were 15 youngsters aged, ages between 14 and 17 roaming the streets of Oak Cliff carry guns and knives, would you say that they were a gang? I believe there's more kids than that roaming the streets of Oak Cliff carrying guns and knives. I do not believe that they are a gang. That's the police department's position on gangs in Dallas. Yeah, they're going back in the building where they're going. It's in direct conflict with the research of Rick Austin and Sharon Valenti. The two special services officers from the probation department have identified and worked with gangs for the past two years. If we could have a, a combined effort, a team effort, between uh, Dallas Police Department, say, Youth Division, and us, I think we could be uh, a lot more effective. The white knights in this story could be driving old Chevys. <laughs> Lowrider clubs in Dallas are trying to fight the gang problem by staging benefit shows. They keep the youngsters off the streets and raise money for a much needed community center for kids in trouble. They come from environments where there, there may be no father in the home, for example, so they search elsewhere. Some of the lucky ones find people like Eleno Flores. He provides a father image for many of the youngsters in West Dallas. Every Wednesday, he calls in the boys from the street for a backyard cookout. The fact that gangs exist is a problem. But perhaps the bigger problem is that law enforcement agencies don't believe they are here. Some sociologists believe the best way to defuse a gang is to work with it as a group. Right now, gangs exist in only certain parts of the city, but they are growing in number. They are everybody's concern. About a third of them will then become criminals. So young and wasting their life so much. They perpetuate themselves that way. They transmit themselves like, like a germ or a virus. I feel sorry for the teenagers nowadays. Victor Solis, Channel 5 Action News, Dallas.